to the command center, everybody. Thought I would share my entertainment center in, that's in my living room with you guys. I call it the command center. This is basically my entertainment headquarters. Um, this is where I spend most of my time. Although, uh, you know, my other retro uh, game systems are in three separate rooms. You know, my Nintendo is in my bedroom, which I've already shared a video, and also the uh, the Sega Genesis and Sega CD-ROM is in the uh, the Sega room, as I call it. And then I have my Super Nintendo even in a, in a third room. But here in the uh, command center, my entertainment headquarters, I haven't shared that with you guys yet, so I thought I would... Uh, share it here so well uh there's my yeah my uh jvc high spec drive forehead hi-fi stereo vcr got that uh, bad boy on ebay that's an, that is an ebay purchase but let let's uh start down here this is my uh stereo it's got a record player uh, cassette and uh, yeah cassette deck and also an 8 track uh, the 8 track does not work but that's the only thing other than that uh, the, you know it's also which is also it's a stereo there's the uh, the tuner I do have a, st um, a dust cover for it but I um, you know already took it off because you know doing this camera one-handed it's kind of it's kind of hard to take it off one-handed so I'll uh, take a picture of it and I'll uh, leave that picture right about here. Yeah, this, this was a very high-end system when it came out. I looked on the back, um, it does have a sticker on it still. It said the manufacture date was um, May of 1980. <laughs> So that, this thing is like almost 41 years old now. Still works, fully functioning, with the exception of the 8-track, which that's no big deal to me, because I, I don't have any 8-tracks. I just have records and cassettes and CDs, but I, I do have a, you know, we'll get, we'll get into the CD, uh, my CD player in a little bit. But yeah, there's the, uh, the turntable here let's let's see what we got on there what record we got on there I haven't taken it off yet Thompson twins into the gap yeah they were one of my favorites from from the 80s but here, here let's let's just start here there's my uh, VHS rewinder RCA brand there's a better look at it as you'll notice, I yeah I tend to gravitate towards RCA when it comes to some my um, devices here in the uh, command center. So I got the RCA um, rewinder. Now you can you can find those rewinders at Goodwill some a lot of times. A lot of times they're like three or four bucks. Um, and hey, it, it does save wear and tear on your VCR. That's that's what they were made for. Um, I actually got the stereo uh, from Goodwill. It was another, I think I'm going to call it a diamond in the rough. I mean, you, you can tell it's older by looking at it, but you can see with all the controls there, I mean, this this was a high-end system. There's you know, volume, bass, treble, your balance of your speakers, like, you know, your left and right, and then, and then um, you know, right there's your functions. There's your AM, FM, stereo. The phono is, phono is the... Uh, to play records, cassette, eight track. Um, uh, there's even a couple like microphone. Yeah, here we go. A couple microphone uh, inputs there. So you you could like do a lot of things with this thing originally. Um, so yeah, maybe um, maybe I'll do a separate video just about the stereo itself and just do a demonstration um, one of these days. So yeah, there's my. Um, there's my uh, records down there. There's a, there's one of the speakers. The other speaker is over here. So I've kind of like you know you have a left and right speaker. So it's like 
you know, I didn't want them like both together like that. So I thought it, it fills the room with good, good stereo sound. There's my uh, record, record collection. I only buy the 33 records, which is like the full albums. I, you know, I want all the song, you know, because like, I I don't because, um, I don't want the uh, the 45s, which is just a single, a single song. But I mean, it, it had the song on each side, but still. I, I want more than two songs on a record, so I, I only buy the 33s, the full albums. Um, so right here's my uh, Wii games. If you guys can, I'm just I'm holding the camera here. I don't have it on tripods. So I'm trying to hold it steady, but if you guys can see that. Yep, there's my Wii game. So I do have a Wii out here. So let's go. Let's go to the top of the TV here. Here's my. Uh, there's my. Um, well, there's my uh, original Sony PlayStation, and that is what I use for a CD player. So whenever I'm listening to a CD, I have it, you know, hooked to the uh, the TV, and I play it. Let's see. I got. I got. I'm pretty sure I got one in there. Yep. Got a CD in there. Can't see it too good. It's upside down here. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Can't see it. That's Dark Shadows. That's uh, the soundtrack to all the sound. A lot of the music on Dark Shadow, the original Dark Shadows. So from the from the 1960s. But there's my um, DVD player. Again, there's. As you can see, RCA. <laughs> um, I actually, now, I actually got this DVD player on eBay. It's the second. Um, this is this actually. This is the second unit that I've had of that particular model. I just took a liking to that model. I, I had that model originally, and uh, you know it did like kind of crap out, but I, I liked it so much. I. I you know, I wanted wanted it again. So, um, yeah, I went went to good old trusty eBay and 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 found it. So there's PlayStation One, and here's the Wii. It's uh, so the, the the Wii and the PlayStation are sitting on top of the uh, the DVD player. And uh, yeah, quick story about the Wii. I never was like I did not get into the Wii until like. I'm gonna say like 2017. <laughs> so, so yeah, I was a little late to the party. Um, at the time, I was like really into the Xbox 360, right? And so, when when the Wii came out, you know, graphically the the Wii couldn't compare to the 360. And really, that's what I, at the time, since you know the Wii was just, you know, it just wasn't in the same. Um, on the same level, I just I quickly di dis uh, dismissed the Wii like it was a joke, you know. That's for like little kids. But yeah, like I said, in recent years, I gave it a second look, and then I I actually appreciated the Wii for what it was and and what they tried to do with it. So yeah, I um, I actually got it got it running right now. It's on the on the screen. I guess 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 the screen's dark darkened up there we go yep got the Wii running those are um, I have downloaded a lot a lot of games for the Wii so there's like yeah these these are games that I downloaded in the um, the Wii virtual console before they closed the store so I got a bunch of turbo graphics 16 games on there I uh, got some Neo Geo games, even some NES games, because I just thought it'd be cool to play some of the, like, I got Mario 1, 2, and 3 on there. I just thought it'd be cool to play it on the big screen TV, because this is a 55-inch uh, TV. So that's that's why I uh, did that. But let's let's go back here. Let's, com let's finish this, uh, all my devices I got on the top shelf. Uh, next to the DVD player, there's my internet modem and router 
only pay fifteen dollars a month for for um uh, for my inter for my home internet Wi-Fi. Very pleased with that price point. I've um, you know a lot of people are like what because they're paying like a lot more than that. But uh, yeah, there's my uh, JVC high spec drive forehead hi-fi stereo VCR. Watch a lot of movies in it. Still currently use it. On top of that, I got a, a fax machine. That is a uh, that's the uh, brother brand. Still, still functioning, of course. Still works. I don't send many faxes, but there are times I I, I do find myself uh, um, needing to send a fax, so I go ahead and you know take it uh, you, you know use it. I know it's older technology by today's standards, but people still do use fax machines. They still fax stuff back and forth, and it's nice to know I can I can send a fax if I need to. Um, yeah, quick story on that. It's like an example that it came definitely came in handy is when my uh, youngest daughter was still living with me. Um, she got a job at a uh, supermarket and she had some paperwork, but she forgot to take it with her. So she, I think she sent me a text um, asking me if I could bring bring her bring the paper there because she was at the store. Well, I just. Faxed the, I just faxed the faxed the paperwork to the store and saved myself a trip so I saved saved money and gas and everything so that yeah the, the fax machine has come in handy uh, different times that's like one of the one of the times I can uh, I can point out so over here on the end we got my my home phone which let's see if I can zoom in on there there it is, RCA. RCA has showed its face again. Um, yeah, I actually got this phone on eBay. Um, I wanted a good house phone, and this is the uh, the the Decked 6.0. I think it's called. Yeah. If you guys look on the, it says it right there on the uh, the handset. That's kind of blurry. Maybe if I zoom in slower. I guess there's not enough light. Let's see if I can get it under the light here. Yeah, it's cool. It lights up blue. Huh. Don't know what's up with the camera. I'll just do it myself. Yeah, the 6.0. There's if if you guys have house phones, um, you definitely want the six point the decked six because it is a lot better technology than the uh, the nine hundred megahertz. Um, like the, the nine hundred megahertz phones are the ones they're like you know cheaper. It's the the uh, the decked six is a is a better quality. The nine hundred megahertz phones they're the ones where if you get too far away from the base and like when you turn a certain way then you're gonna like static start it static comes in and you know so that that reason alone is a, you know definitely um why i wanted the the, the better the better quality because if i'm talking on the phone to somebody you know i i don't want to hear some annoying static and stuff like that so very good phone um and also i do have hooked up to it my uh, answer machine. This is the old style. It's with the uh, with the tape, the micro cassette tape. So yeah, I'm I'm rocking it old school here. But like I said, it everything's fully functioning. It works. Now the the phone, my home phone service is the Magic Jack. Okay, so so yes. In case anybody was wondering, the fact the fax machine does work on the mat you on the Magic Jack service. So even though it's kind of neat. It's like, um, you know, the Magic Jack, of course, runs on the internet. It's an internet-based uh, uh, service, but it's, it's. I just think it's kind of neat that this old uh, piece of technology, probably from the '90s, you know, can can run. It's like a coming together of the old, the old and new technology. It's kind of kind of neat. It's like the, the like the the uh, device itself is 
old technology, but it still was works and compatible with the new like you know internet uh, service. So kind of cool. Um, so yeah, there's my and then on here there's my Roku device. So definitely, um, I don't have cable or satellite, you know, like DirecTV or anything. I just, there's my, that's my uh, link to the outside world as far as entertainment goes. I got, got the Roku. Now this, this TV that, that I have here, it's a, it's a Mitsubishi. Now, that's a, now that says uh, HD 1080. So this has to be like one of the first HD televisions because... I looked on the back on the manufacturer's date. It said um, September 2001. So this this TV is almost 20 years old now. Um, so, but but yet, yeah, but with the uh, the Roku device, it's turned this 20 year old TV into a smart TV, basically. So, kind of kind of cool, I thought. But yeah, this is just an overview. This is this is uh, what I call the command center. This is. This is where I spend uh, most of my most of my hours of of the day and evenings because, you know, I mean, I got I got movies to watch. I got the games out here, the Wii and the PlayStation One. Uh, then of course I got you know if I want to listen to music. So, so yeah. After uh, sharing this all with you guys, I guess you probably would. Uh, it's easy to uh, say that I definitely live the uh, the retro lifestyle, huh? But it works for me, you know. Some people probably would say, "Oh, I don't see how you could live that way." You know, pe those are the people that are, um, you know, can't. Those are the people that start to have a meltdown and freak out. You know, if they can't, if if they have if they uh, have to go like thirty minutes without their smartphone, right? Um, or, you know, or if their, or if their battery on their smartphone is about to die, you know, they they start to have a panic attack. I mean, I'm, I'm not a smartphone hater or anything. Well, I guess in some ways I don't, I don't like them because of the effect they've had on society, but that'll probably be a topic for a different video. But, um... Yeah, I just I I have a smartphone. I use it, um, but I, you know, I can do without it. You know, I I actually do a, a a smartphone detox every week. I turn my phone off and I uh, don't I don't have it on for like probably like thirty six hours because I I turn it off on Friday night. And I go all day Saturday without it, and I don't turn it back on again till Sunday morning. So I just think that's a healthy to do that. Take a break from it. Now I know a lot of people they just for whatever different reasons they can't do that. They can't bring themselves to do it. You know, um, you know, smartphones have really, um, you know, sunk sunk in their teeth into uh, our lives and. It's like, yeah, some people just can't, can't do it. And so I, I do that just, just to try to have some balance in my life. Right. It's like, um, cause it's nice to know, Hey, I can function without it. If something happens and it's not working or, you know, you know, God forbid there's some kind of attack happens and they take out the cell phone towers and where they're going to be not, not, uh, where they would be rendered useless for an extended period of time, it's good to know you can still like function and you know just uh, live and not be so dependent on that device and and not have a meltdown if that happens. So, anyways, didn't mean to get into uh, a controversial uh, speech like that, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share my command center here. This is my entertainment hub, I call it. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what you think. <laughs> so we're back in the Sega room. Uh, just want to do a quick recap here. Just let me know what you guys think of my uh, entertainment center. my The command center as I call it. That's my entertainment headquarters. 
Um, it's where I spend you know most of my time. I you know like I said I do come in the Sega room here to to video uh, these to make videos or to of course to you know play the games. Um, but like I said, when I play games, it's just a lot of times it's you know just get a little bit of fix, you know, come in here maybe for an hour or so. Um, but other than that, you know, um, I spend most of my time in the living room either playing the Wii or or watching the Roku. I, I do watch a lot of YouTube videos um, on the Roku, so that that's kind of the cool thing about uh, the Roku is you know watching YouTube on my you know on a 55 inch screen versus a phone or a laptop. Um, so yeah, I, I that's how I watch YouTube, and and really uh, the main reason I got uh, a Roku was the the show Cobra Kai. You know, originally it was it did appear on uh, YouTube for the first two seasons. Yeah, I didn't want to watch it on a phone or a laptop. You know, it was like if this show, I thought I had a feeling it was going to be uh, the show was going to be epic, but but you know, regardless of it, of um, of that, it, I, I just don't want to watch TV shows or movies on a a laptop screen or a a phone. Uh, I get you know I like again I'm old school. Uh, I'm re I'm retro, right? I I prefer to watch watch it on a TV. <laughs> so. Anyways, if this is your first time to the channel, you know, tap tap that subscribe button down there and the bell next to it, ding, ding. Uh, and that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Um, and tap the like if you did. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps the uh, the channel out with the YouTube search results. Uh, that way it will let other people find it easier. Um, as you guys may have known, uh, this week I've been uh, doing a uh, giveaway. Okay, now the, the deadline to enter is this Friday at 11.59 p.m. That's January 22nd. Um, so, yeah, it's just a chance for you to, uh, to enter to uh, um, win a cool you know, retro gift from me. It's just a way of me, uh, you know, saying thanks for uh, tuning in. It's a way to show that uh, my appreciation to my viewers, uh, what few viewers I have. But... Um, I just thought it would be a, like a cool little thing to, uh, you know, a way to interact with each other, and um, so, yeah, for this video, to uh, to participate and uh, uh, submit an entry, you need to do three things: uh, the, uh, tap the thumbs up on this video, leave me a comment below, and in the comment, tell me the name, of, the brand name of my VCR that's in the living room, okay? Um, and then the third thing, and the and which really counts uh, as your um, as your entry, like an email entry, is uh, to send me an email uh, with that same answer that you left in the comments, and then the subject line when you email me, put I want to win. Okay, that way I know it's you guys from this video, because I do get a lot of emails. And um, so when I see that subject line saying I want to win, then I can quickly, you know, see that, that it's from you guys. All right. So do those three things. Uh, uh, the, the email must be received by, you know, January 22nd at uh, 11.59 p.m. And it, that's Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> uh, so that's about it, you know. Um, hopefully you're interested in participating in this. And, um, you know, uh, after... After that date and time, uh, you'll be notified by email if you are the winner, and um, then then I can you know coordinate with you uh, via email as far as you know getting your uh, your sh uh, mailing address so I can so I can send you the gift that you want. So um, hope you liked the video, guys. Hope you hope you're interested in participating in this. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. But until next time, keep it retro. Thank you.